Selection of the tray is very important for the accuracy of impressions and casts. So to understand this then, if we need more room for the lower tray, which would mean in our thinking a larger tray, we really have to go to a smaller size tray so that lingually it's more narrow, which gives us more room. Remember that one of the important points about accuracy of any impression material, and that includes alginate, is that we have a uniform amount of material. Alginate, we need a quarter inch or six millimeters of material. What I'd like to talk about now is the proper positioning of the patient for, to make the alginate impression. What I suggest instead is that we lay the patient all the way back. What I'd like to demonstrate now is the insertion of the maxillary impression. And if we use that to retract instead, we're, we'll gain up to a half an inch of room. The moment I see that tongue move is when I'm going to seat the posterior part. Now it's critical to know that once the alginate impression is removed from the mouth, we only have a 10 minute period in which uh, to pour it. Now what's inside the impression at, at this point is, uh, is saliva and also the disinfectant. And a very good way to uh, absorb that so that we can assure we're removing all of it is to sprinkle this with stone. Now using a vibrator, we want to just start in one edge of the impression and watch it pour. And always watch the leading edge and adding to the original.